every single page. It's like, und schließlich hat er das gemacht. <laughs> I can't say it for the life of me. Hello, hello, hello. This is the first official weekend that I have had to myself. My son and my husband have gone camping and they've not done that since my son was born. So, although I should be taking some me time, I officially have this weekend and this weekend only to get everything done that I need to get done for work before my son is on summer holidays for the next month. So, I thought before I get to work, I can have a little fun. So I'm just chilling here in my pajamas and I thought I would make a lighthearted video for you guys today. And hopefully some of the Germans watching this can actually help me because there are still a number of words that I cannot pronounce in German for the life of me. I like to think that I can speak German quite quickly. You can see in my videos on my channel, I'll link up below the most recent one where I did it in German. But for some reason, every time I get to one of these words, I just like stumble and struggle and just like word vomit. It's so terrible. So, you've probably heard of people not being able to say like Eichhörnchen or Streichholzschachteln and I don't think I have a big problem with those ones. I also don't use those words all that often, but there are some actual words that I use quite often or at least more often than I maybe realize. Here it goes. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to butcher the word and you're just gonna have to guess what I'm saying. Schließlich, schließlich, schließlich. Leash, leash. You've got to have like a tip for me on how to properly pronounce this. I read these like Leo Loisemann's books for my son and on every single page it's like und schließlich hat er das gemacht. <laughs> I can't say it for the life of me. This is the hardest one that drives me the most nuts. So if you have tips, please let me know. Otherwise, there's also the similar one like tatsächlich, tatsächlich, tatsächlich. Sometimes I feel like I can say it, but like, you know, when you're on a roll and you're like talking really fast, especially when it's not your native mother tongue language, and then all of a sudden you want to say this like big word, and I'm like, yeah, und das ist tatsächlich so. <laughs> and I just like don't know why I keep making these mistakes. I think it's just like how you move your tongue in the way that you say it, that I just like can't do it. And I don't often use the blow dryer, but for some reason this has come up in discussion in recent weeks. And the word for blow dryer in German is fön, 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 fön. I have a trouble with the like dots, like the umlaut or the dots on top of the letters. For some reason I can't pronounce it. So I just don't even say the word fön, fön, fön all that often. <laughs> I have also been to Schleswig-Holstein. Schleswig Schleswig I feel like that's a tongue twister. You know, like in English when you say Sally sells she's Sally sells, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Schleswig-Holstein Schleswig Schleswig is just like a tongue twister for me. A really simple word, very easy to say, and I cannot say it for the life of me, and that is bear. 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 Sometimes I say bear. I can say it right when I'm saying it right now. Sometimes I say ba, or sometimes I say bear. Like, it's just, it just depends on the sentence, and then when I'm speaking German, it's just, I always stump that one word, and I'm like ba. I mean bear. Bear. Bear? All right, and when we are in a big group, you always want to say like, Ja, welche Gruppe treffen wir heute? And I feel like I just said that, like I just killed the word Gruppe, 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 Gruppe. But for some reason, um, it's also, I just can't say it. I can't do it. I really practiced for this video and I still feel like I did not say it 100%. And the last one, which is going to be very random and probably a word that nobody's ever mentioned before as being a tough German word, and that is Pair. Birne, Birne. 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 
I'm always very honored about the comments that you guys have left, especially on my very first video that I made in German on my YouTube channel, um, that a lot of you said that I don't have as heavy of a North American accent when I speak German as some people do. So I'm always very proud and very honored of that. But then it's so weird when I'm speaking really fast and I'm like, oh yeah, aber ich muss ganz schnell zum Supermarkt gehen, weil ich muss Birne kaufen. <laughs> And then I really sound North American. <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys are gonna help me learn how to pronounce it without like trying to pronounce it a hundred times yourselves. But if you have any like tongue twister tricks, then please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, that was a short video for today, but I had fun making it. Und wie immer, vielen, vielen lieben Dank und bis später.